let me show you how I extract head words from Cologne dictionaries so there are two repositories you want to know first what I use to extract them Sanskrit macros and editor macros extract text so actually key one and key two is the ones we will need B is for bolded so in some dictionaries the keywords with uh, the head words with the accents are in the bolded text and actually I'm hunting those accents so that's why I created this script and uh, so the dictionaries we take from here from the download section I have already downloaded some of them and uh, where do I put those headwords I put them in headword list so key one is the normalized version of the headword but what the, what does normalized means um, for example in Monier Williams there are 61 entry that has a spacing um, so it's not very convenient for all kinds of NLP tasks to have a space in a head word so in key 2 we have exactly as we have it in the book Avagrahas, spacing, whatever, all kind of, let's say, dirt and key 1 is a steril sterilized form that is not actually there in the printed book but it is good for reference on the computer so for most of dictionaries I have both so for example what does it what does this mean so M Monier Williams key one unique means that I have deleted dupli duplicates so duplicate lines means homonyms and uh, for example if a verb So, um, Monier Williams, non duplicate entries, and this is the number of entries. As you see, the number of entries of key 1 and key 2 is different. Why? Um, because key 2 contains more data, so it is harder to find duplicate entries, and as key 1 is minimized, normalized version so more duplicates are found so the numbers are not equal so the other dictionary has 131,000 entry in key one that is non-duplicate so unique and if you see the same dictionary k2 tag and the number is a, a bit higher and that's normal that should be so okay so how do I make them those files uh, since 2006 I use M editor because uh, one of my colleagues uh, made some uh, devnagari converting scripts in M editor and since then I use it quite often. I open the dictionary file. Let me say, for example, let's go for watches for him XML. And the biggest file is actually the XML file we are looking for it's big so it takes some time okay we can close this macros select extract text and this time we want key one macros let me show you what's inside the macros so actually it's not much might be even made 
in a simple way but anyway so we look for key one replace it with some unique sign the closing tag then we extract those words between those tags uh, we delete all duplicate entries we delete the first line which remains blank and this is for deleting the last line which is blank and this is save as macros run okay that's it I go to headword list okay VT, VCP unique kid one and as you see 47 107 this is the number of lines it's the same so UTF without signature save yes that's it that this is how I extract um, Q1 if you want we can extract we can extract so the biggest file is the XML file macros select extract text key two macros run okay so here are a few blank ones left so the file is a bit different Okay. Ah. These duplicates are still there, are they? Let me check. I did. Advanced. Delete duplicate lines. Yeah. Somehow. Okay. Um. Sometimes. Okay. I have to reload. I have to reload. Mm, the macros. So it doesn't work. So if I open a dictionary. And I don't select. So I have first. I have to open the dictionary, then select the macros. If I have the macros selected and open the dictionary, sometimes it will not work. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know why. Anyway, this is it. Okay. Um, so save as header list. And uh, this we don't have. So what I do is like this. As you can see, it's E N M, E N M. And how many entries do we have? Okay, uh, I know I'm in the beginning of the file. I don't know. Oh, so let's suppose it's uh, something. Okay, and let me go there. Let me go there. Nine four six six nine four six six. change e -N -M. I pressed F5 and here we go. This is the list. So this is how I extract headwords from colonial dictionaries. Thanks for watching.